In this video, I'm going to show you how to center clay in easy steps. Hi, Marie here, back with another informative pottery making video for you. Did you ever give up and start making something even if your clay wasn't centered yet? Well, you're not alone. Centering clay can be one of the toughest skills to master. When I started throwing on the wheel, it took me longer to center than it did to make the piece. I'm going to demonstrate the steps to get you centering your clay quickly. Let's get centering. The first step, and most important, is wedging your clay. Because if you don't have a well-wedged ball of clay, centering can become very difficult. It should be nice and malleable, workable, with no air pockets. I have a video you can check out with three different ways you can wedge. Pick your favorite because they all work well. I left a link for you in the description below. The second step is to throw your ball of clay on the center of the wheel. Pat your clay down, making sure it's nice and smooth with no dents where air can get trapped. You want to throw your clay on a damp surface. A damp sponge does the trick. Not too wet or your clay will slide all over your bat or wheel. And not too dry or it won't stick. Throw your clay as close to the center as possible. Now place your index finger on the wheel next to the clay and slowly turn the wheel. This does two things. It seals the clay to the wheel and it shows you how centered your clay is. If it's in the center, you did a great job throwing your clay on the wheel. If it's not, you can turn the wheel slowly and patch your clay into the center. The third step is to make sure you're in the right position. You want your legs right up against the splash pan. Make sure your elbows are anchored to your sides or your thighs and your back is straight so you can lean into the clay with your whole body. This gives you more leverage and control over the clay. The fourth step is to place the pad of your anchor hand on the side of the clay in the 8 o'clock position. Then place your other hand at the 6 o'clock position in the karate chop position using the side of your hand. Load your sponge with water and have it rest in your hand. This way you have more control over the amount of water you need and it keeps your hand on the clay longer. If you feel a little friction, just give it a little squeeze. Now spin your wheel on medium high to high. The faster you go, the more control you get over your clay. When centering, speed matters. Now, give it a little water, your sponge a little squeeze, and now lean in and press down on your clay. And keep your elbows anchored. And your anchor hand steady. The fifth step is to cone up and press down on your clay. Keep your anchor hand firm at 8 o'clock and your hand in the 3 o'clock position. Start at the base of the wheel and pull your clay upward to form a cone. Using a thin sponge will help you control the clay better. But you don't want too much water in your sponge. So I'll take a little out just enough to keep your clay smooth. Now, 
Keep your anchor hand steady and cone up. There, you don't have to go too far up. That's just fine. Now place your right hand in the karate chop position using the side of your hand. Press downward on an angle towards the 12 o'clock position. Fill your sponge with water again and keep your anchor hand firm and the clay will center. Make sure your wheel is going fast enough. Squeeze a little water on. Now that you know how to center, let's put those skills to work. You can check out my 30 beginner pottery wheel project series where you will find plenty of projects to practice on your newfound centering skills. With the tips I shared and a little practice, I know you'll be centering like a pro in no time. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. You watching my other videos supports this channel and helps me to make more videos just like this one. Head on over to this How to Wedge Clay video or 11 Problems Centering Clay and How to Fix Them. If you do, I get to play with more clay. Let's stay dirty 